Good morning. Here are your announcements for Tuesday, December 5th. I'm Tassandra Kerr. The Youth and Government program is kicking off at Don Community High School. This program gives students the opportunity to participate in the governing process, culminating in a trip to Columbus to speak on the behalf of legislation. It's not a practice, it's real. Sign-up sheets will be available this week. A few weeks ago, we went with the art class to their field trips at Queen City Clay, where they learned how to make pottery. After the real work was done, the projects were brought back to the art room to be glazed and fired. Here are a few students and the teachers speaking about their experience. You start with a little piece of clay, and you mold it, you get all the air bubbles out. I learned that it takes multiple times, it can take you multiple times to get it right. It's not always going to be perfect the first time you try it. There's people that, um, that specialize in pottery, and it took them a long time to master the process. Two clay pots that I did. This one is glazed and this one isn't, and this one larger has more. Um, designs on it than this one does. That is all proportional around all the angles. It's all proportional and you gotta be real careful. You can't go fast or too slow. You gotta be just right. And they just don't have any nails on. I had nails on last time, but mine still turned out good. But it's best to just not wear nails or anything if you're a girl. And I learned other stuff too. This was a new experience for them. Uh, I'm a painter and not a potter, but I enjoyed it tremendously. Um, really, especially doing three-dimensional work, I found that um, it was a great experience just to sh have myself share with the other students their work. It was interesting because you had to learn how to press on the pedals at a, uh, the correct speed and be able to maneuver the clay so that as you as it spins it is um it spins and is molded correctly Ta -da. there will be two great opportunities to build your future start next semester there are stna and youth build youth build is a program where you can le learn construction skills and help build affordable housing and other community assets such as community centers and schools the STNA program provides entry level positions in the medical field. STNA works in a variety of medical settings, including hospitals, retirement homes, and as home health aides. These two programs will start up after break. Do you need a job to meet your graduation requirements, pay bills, do some Christmas shopping, or just to save? If so, and you are over 16 years old, see Ms. Gear. She has some opportunities for employment. Final exams for the semester are next week. They take place December 14 and 15 for core classes. First and second bill. If you complete your scheduled exam, you are free to go that day. For students who need additional time or if you are absent, you may go to your teacher's classroom after lunch. Good luck on the finals. There is still time to sign up for driver's trainer class. This is a great opportunity to get your training on the way to get your Ohio's driver's license. The cost is just $200. See Ms. Gear to sign up. For lunch today, we have chicken patty sandwich, green peas, corn, pineapple, and a second fruit choice, and a choice of milk. There's like our announcements for today. Make it a great day.